Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I am Vika the GM, once again filling in for Nora Queen Alexis. She is unfortunately working right now and asked me to step in. So, what are we going to be covering today? It's the New York Toy Fair, which is funny that Alexis, who is currently working in a game store in New York, has asked me to uh, comment on things <laughs> that uh, I am only slightly qualified to do. So, as longtime lovers of New York, hey, me too, toys and fairs of all kinds, we thought we'd pop along to the New York Toy Fair, a major event for toy sellers across the world. We brought with us some very exciting new stuff. Over the past couple of years, we've returned to our roots with a ton of board games, aimed at new fans, alongside reinvention of classic games for veterans. And we've got good news for fans of both. First up. Now, they say they've done that, and yet, not a peep about Battlefleet Gothic. Come on, Games Workshop. Do it. However, Warhammer Underworlds, which is the Warhammer Age of Sigmar skirmish game, which is the counterpart to Kill Team. A new Warhammer Underworlds Warband. Warhammer Underworlds is a game with a vast amount of depth, depth. To some, well, it has depth too, but besides the point, to some, it's all about outthinking your foe, with a blistering of all chosen selection of ploys, grabbing victory by cunning alone. For others, it's a mind game, where each player attempts to remain poker-faced in an attempt to hide their true intentions. And to some, it's about smashing stuff. So yeah, the latest warband for Underworlds is the Orcs, with uh, Morgox Crushers. Uh, let's see. Morgox Crushers are Warhammer Underworlds' latest warband, a super durable, super smashy set of iron jaw brutes will make a short work of anyone who gets in their way. If you love elite warbands, greenskins, and playing aggressively, you'll love gaming with these guys. And I have to admit, I... You can see that uh, that there's a kind of a mega knob armor influence going over from 40k into uh, Age of Sigmar, and uh, also a good thing that I can say about the orcs ever since uh, is that in both uh, in the latest 40k releases and the Age of Sigmar releases, they are just way bulkier than they used to be. They still have top knots, but you know can't win them all. Let's see. How rad are those models, huh? Every Uruk fan will want to grab a set of these to paint. Remember, like all Warhammer Underworlds warbands, they have rules for your Warhammer Age of Sigmar army, so you really have no excuse not to get them. This is all... Uh, uh, Warhammer Underworlds and Kill Team are pretty much the best solution you could have ever had on, hey, I want to get into either Age of Sigmar or 40k, but man, do I not want to build an army. Well, you really don't have to start at all playing tabletop. You can just play Kill Team or Underworlds. All you just you could grab a box, don't even have to paint it at first, just put it together, boom, good to go. Your opponent will, of course, grumble if he doesn't. So, moving on from Underworlds, we go to Aeronautica Imperialis, Strike from the Skies. Hot on the tails of the new Warcraft revealed in the skies of fire. Check them here if you missed them. We've got an even more. Uh, we got even more teeny tiny planes for you, and it's the Avenger Strike Fighter, and it is super tiny and super adorable. Let's see. Avenger Strike Fighters have long been beloved by generals in both Warhammer 40,000 and Age of Darkness for their ability to deploy armor-busting firepower at ridiculous speeds. This new plastic kit will allow you to reinforce your Imperial Navy squadron with four of the blighters. And it was a Brit that wrote this. 
We'll have more details on these close to release. For now, rest assured, you won't have to wait too long for the at these cult classics. We know some of you folks love Avengers to your force. And yes, Alexis, in fact, loves these. And she has a, a 40K version of this one. And it has, a, I believe it has a sister pilot in it. So yeah, it looks really cool in person. Now, here comes the... Uh, here comes the actual things that I'm interested in, which is coming to a board game night near you. If you've loved Blitz Bowl, Combat Arena, Storm Vault, and the like, and you're hungry for more, or if you're just looking for a cracking way to spend your next gaming night, we've got great news. Even more games are on the way. Let's see. So we have three, uh, Rise, uh, Rise of the Orcs, Blitz Bowl Season 2, and Crypt Hunters. Let's see. Rise of the Orcs is a fast-paced base defense game for one to five players that pits a team of terminators against hordes of greenskins working alone or with your friend you'll fight desperate battles or luck skill and teamwork are required to survive this set will also give you a chance to grab some terminators on, uh, only normally available via space marine heroes so if i am not mistaken i think i have played a similar game i am i'm blanking on the name of it but it's it is a base defense game where there are six sides to it, and random orcs, trolls, and goblins are all spawned, and you have to defeat them using cards. This feels similar to that, because you can play it by yourself. That's kind of where I'm getting that from. Oh, never mind. Uh, huh. It's over here. So, actually, it like aside from... Instead of being a six-sided uh, circle, it looks yeah, it looks like you just spawn them in wherever you can. Let me see. Ah, uh, eh, we'll see. But the models look to be regular sized, so you can probably get some Terminator sergeants out of these. All right, let's see. Crypt Hunters is a game of combat and exploration where you and a, and a friend battle that out in the depths of an ancient labyrinth. One player controls a team of Stormcast Eternals, while the other acts as a kind of dungeon keeper, building a labyrinth as they play and throwing an endless wave of night haunt chain rasps against the heroes, making for thrilling asymmetrical battles where no two games are the same. So, this has the uh, Death Watch overkill feel. Where one of them, uh, one of you plays the Genius Leader Cult and the other plays the Death Watch. Instead, here it's a uh, spooky ghost against Sigmarines. And mm, I can see this thing having like a tiny bit of life, but I can't say that I'm super hyped for it. However, Blitz Bowl. Blitz Bowl Season 2, meanwhile, gives you even more content for the fast paced game of fantasy football, compacting the thrills and spills of a Blood Bowl game. Uh, yeah game of Blood Bowl into a nifty little package. Now, personally, I've never actually played Blitz Bowl, but I've played so many hours of Blood Bowl, and if this is just a faster version of that, then yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd pick it up if I could, but I'm not honestly sure. Here's the thing. Uh, as I look closer up here, there seems to be some extra rules regarding uh, regarding the tabletop itself because I don't recognize uh, where the dug off is or if the end zone appears to be uh, functioning properly or uh, whatever the hell these red things are on the middle of the screen. Well, uh, let's see. Whether you're looking to lure your friends over to Warhammer or just new ways to explore your favorite settings, these games will be great. Look for them in selected stores across America over the next year or so. Uh, I'll probably pick up Blitz Bowl at some point and uh, pick up some more Blood Bowl teams, but hey, that's for later. All right, moving on. New action figures. Last but not least, we've got a great news for fans of action figures, Space Marines, and anyone else who loves cool toys. So, all of you, <laughs> today Games Workshop is announcing a par new partnership with the action figure masters McFarlane to release a range of four, uh, 440,000 action figures, starting with this Primaris Intercessor. 
yeah, they they kind of ha have to start with these guys because they are the new face, 40k. But it would be nice to have some. Well, I'll probably be more excited for whatever comes next. But I probably won't be picking up uh, any Marines since I'm not a huge fan of them. Let's see. Details are being kept on the down low right now, but we have a few tidbits we can share. First of all, these fully posable action figures are planned for release in both painted and unpainted versions. Perfect for representing your favorite chapter. Uh, secondly, this primary's intercessor is only the beginning. There are more already in the pipeline, and they're not all space marines. We'll have more news on just how you can get your hands on these before too long. So yeah, uh, hoping for Sisters of Battle, maybe some Mechanicus. Uh, Chaos Space Marines will probably be next. Uh, let's see. That's all we've got from the New York Toy Fair and uh, a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, I have to say, like, for a New York Toy Fair, there's honestly not that much. It's one one box of uh, one box of three orcs, one box of four Avengers Strike Fighter for a, a game that is uh, what's it called? It is a bespoke game. It's it's it has its own thing and it kind of can't be used for anything else. And then three tiny tiny board games only one of which I'm super excited for. So, oh, and, uh, and the uh, Posable Marine. So, can't say that I'm hugely excited for all of these. I kind of just want to play more Blood Bowl. I probably should go do that now. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to boot up Blood Bowl. But until next time, I have been Vika the GM, filling in for Norm Queen Alexis, Check out all the doobly doos in the description, uh, and I also want to uh, again thank all of Alexis's patron patrons. I'm so thankful for all of you for helping support my fiance, and uh, until next time, I've been Vicky the GM. Bye.